Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals and the QI Macros. We're working our way through the Healthcare Data Guide by Provost and Murray. And on page 156, we have infectious waste per patient day. Now we can take that data, select it with the mouse. If you know what you're doing in QI Macros, you can go pick individuals chart. Or if you just click on the control chart wizard, it'll figure out that that's an XMR individuals chart. Draw the range chart and the X chart. And so here you can see that we have an issue, right? So we have some out of control points on the range chart. And so this means that there's something going on that went on uh, between these two points. Well, we can kind of see that over here, but that really shows up on the range chart. And the range chart is just the difference between each successive two points on here. Now we could also take that data and put that into one of our control chart templates. So if you're trying to keep track of this um, on an ongoing basis, we could grab the XMR 5 pack here. And I'm going to go back over, grab this data, copy it. We're going to paste that into our data sheet here. And as you can see, it's going to create our chart for us. Now I could actually filter this data. So I just want to filter the non-blanks. There's our chart. We might have to adjust the axis options and pick a fixed number like 5 or something. So it spreads out a little more. And once you've done that, then you can go ahead and click on any chart, choose the QI Macros chart menu, and analyze stability, and then it'll pick up all of the out of control points. So we get the same chart, but then next month, if you wanted to, you could unfilter this data, add a new data point, and keep going. All right, so that's how we can create an XMR chart of infectious waste from the Healthcare Data Guide using the QI Macros.